Okay, everyone, hello and welcome to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod. First of all, this will include spoilers for Game of Thrones, both the show and the books. So, if you do not want spoilers, do not continue. Um, secondly, I, I am not the greatest Crusader Kings 2 player. I don't... I've never played the base game. I've only been playing it uh, for a few days because I got the game in the Steam sale and then bought the mo or got the mod for it. So, I don't know everything, so if you're here to learn about how everything works in Crusader Kings 2, I'm sure I know some stuff now, but I am not an expert, so by no means come to me and, you know, be like, you're an idiot, you don't know what you're doing, I came here to learn, and then you didn't teach me anything. I, I can't necessarily teach you how to play. Um, I'm sure you can learn some stuff, and maybe you'll have some fun along the way, but I just wanted to clear that up before we get started. Uh, and so, we are playing as Peter Baelish, um... Of House ba House Baelish, uh, we are going to start as him, and then hopefully take the Iron Throne. That is the goal. Uh, at any time, should you die, as long as you have an heir, you become your heir. So we will continue as that until hopefully we take the throne, or it, it at least becomes impossible to do so. So here we are. Uh, Stannis is now talking to us. I will read this, and then we will get started setting up. This first episode will be kind of setting up, and then we'll get into more interesting things as we go. Uh, Lord Peter, I declare that my brother Robert left no trueborn issue of his body. The boy Joffrey, the boy Tommen, and the girl... My... Marcella, I guess? Are abominations of incest between Cersei and Jaime. Basically, he thinks he's belongs on the throne. I will say, of course, I should have known, because it is true! It is true, they are. So, I am Peter of House... of House Baelish. I don't know why I can never read that and how I have risen in recent years. Basically, uh, we have two options here. We have the option to have Sansa, who we have uh, helped escape from King's Landing. We have her, and we can have her either marry um, into... marry Harold, who is the heir to the Vale. And so that will help us take the Vale and unite the Vale and the North together. Um, and solidify who the ruler is at the Vale. Um, the other option is we wed her and we claim the North. Now, I'm going to go with this option because I'm not quite sure how the other option works out. Um, you, you know, you can never really tell how this either option will work out because things change depending on uh, what goes on. But, you know, I think that me personally being able to claim the North is better than what basically becoming the Guardian I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't like that one. We're going to marry Sansa. Okay. So now we got to pick an ambition. Our ambition will be to get married because that's the first thing we're probably going to get to do um, on that list of things. And so it makes the most sense to capitalize on that opportunity and make that our ambition. So now um, we have a few options here as far as what we can do in the decisions panel. But first we're going to decide on civil war sides. So, Tommen is the Iron Throne. He is the king. Um, basically, Joffrey has died. Uh, he was poisoned at the wedding. And so, Sansa has fled because Cersei is, although not necessarily convinced that she actually did it, is going after her for it, no matter what. Uh, so, Tommen is in charge. Um, we have a few options here. We can support the throne, which makes Tommen's opinion of us better. What is his opinion of us now? He's minus four. Um, we cannot concern ourselves for the moment, which doesn't do anything. Uh, or we can side with Stannis, um, which Stannis will become happy and Tommen will become sad, <laughs> basically, or mad at us. Now, I think I'm going to support the throne because Stannis has the power of whatever he has, the Red Priest or whatever the fuck. Where is he? Stannis? 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 Where the fuck? You're over here, right? Yeah, Stannis. Okay, so he has this gibberish. Um, which gives him a lot of power. Uh, he can do some crazy things using that. So we don't really want him to take the throne, because if he does, it's probably going to be hard to get him out of there. Um, whereas the Lannisters aren't that difficult to work with, honestly. Like, they're pretty pretty normal. I haven't played too much. I, I started this Baelish thing, and then I realized that all the videos were messed up, and like the framework was really bad, so I had to redo it now. Uh, but we weren't that far into it. We were probably two, three videos in. 
Um, but I'm going to support the throne because when I come out and uh, announce that I'm marrying Sansa, come out, it sounds like Baelish is gay, which he might be. Who knows? Fuck, you know, the clothes he wears. But, <laughs> but I'm going to do this because he's going to get mad at us for doing that, so we don't want him too, too, too mad uh, because he's already going to not like that. Uh, we're going to keep this in our back pocket for now. As for plots, we don't really have anything uh, that it recommends that's a good idea. Um, what can we do? Can we kill Stannis? Is that an option? It's not a terrible option. It's possible. Mm, it's not much we can do with the kid. I was hoping we could kidnap the kid. Uh, we could kidnap the wife. I don't know what that's going to accomplish, though. Yeah, we don't want to do that, because if we mess it up, they'll know, possibly, and then that could get us in trouble. And we don't want to already be considered bad people. So, uh, let's uh, set this to dynasties. Yeah. Okay, so right now, this is the land we hold. It's not very much, as you can see. Uh, we're not exactly uh, rocking it. So, collect taxes. Let's do that in one second. I have to alt-tab out of this because I need to make sure the mouse cursor is showing in the video because that was another issue. Include mouse cursor. Okay, it says it will. Um, just making sure. Uh, so, we're going to collect taxes in the capital. Uh, we are going to train troops in the capital. We are going to oversee the province. Um, now, this guy... Hmm. Let's have him scheme. Um, actually, let's not have him scheme. Let's sabotage the economy of Dragonstone. Because that's where Stannis is. Uh, we don't want Stannis to win the war. Decided on that, so let's do that. Um, and let's improve relations with King's Landing for now, because we we might piss them off. Uh, we definitely will later. Um, and what are the religions set to right now? Let's see, religion, religion. Everyone is in agreement on the religion, basically, here? Who's this? Who's your religion? Oh, you're of evil. Your fire queen over there. Um, so we can just have him do some charity right now, because it doesn't really matter. And so now let's start the clock. Let's uh, throw it up a little bit in speed. Uh, this game also crashes frequently, so hang on one second. This game is a horrible, bad habit of crashing. Okay, it's saving monthly. I wanted to make sure it was set to do that. So, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of shit going on now. Uh, as we sided with um, the Iron Throne, we are now put in the middle of the war with Stannis. So, we don't have that much for troops, so basically what we're going to do here is we're going to stay out of it, for the most part. We're going to try to do as little as possible as part of this war, because it really doesn't... Uh, the Iron Throne should be able to hold itself. I, I have seen times where Stannis does win, um, and it doesn't matter who you're playing as, it just happens differently every time. Um, I've seen times where uh, Daenerys comes over with the dragons, like, fucking the third month of the game and then just takes over and that's pretty much it because you can't really kill the dragons very easily. Um, when my guests arrive, my daughter Sansa is the first to greet them and shower them with questions. The child clearly has potential. Introduce her to everyone in the court. Um, people don't like that. And the child's annoying. We're going to say that's great. I like that. Yay, she's going to be awesome, basically. Um... It's dropping crazy frames trying to move around right now. Oh, maybe it was getting ready for an autosave like that. Huh. I don't know. It's being a little weird right now, but it's okay. Um, Lord Powermount Robert is impulsive. Oh, yeah, so I am the the guardian? Yeah, I am the guardian of Robert. Robert is the little dickhead who um, has the eerie. Uh, we don't like Robert. Can I kill him? Oh, I can't really kill him. Um... We're going to beat him so that he stops being a little dick. Or at least tries to stop being a little dick. He's probably still going to be a dick. But we can try. We can try to curve the, the behavior. Now, I don't really think that beating him would be very effective. But uh, in this case, it is effective. So we're going to do it. Um, wait. I want... Let's raise... Yeah, we'll just get you guys together. Come here. All of them will go there. Uh, cause we, we're winning the war right now down here, um, you can see how the war's going, um, if it's a green percentage in our favor, we're winning, if it's 
red. We are losing. Uh, so we're winning the war right now against Stannis. And uh, Stannis never seems to move these troops. I don't think he has boats or something. I don't know. I don't think he has a way to get here. So... I mean, he has that boat, but can he drop troops off? I guess he could. Uh, but... He never seems to really make any moves that, to me, feel intimidating. Right now, at the beginning of this, is going to be a bit slow, because we, we don't really, as you can see, we don't have much power. We can't really... What can we do in this scenario? Not much. Um, he told me about his ideas, but I couldn't understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant this belief would improve the military. Um, lose some gold and increase levy size. Okay, we'll do that. So, we're going to get some more troops eventually here. Um, these troops actually just beat up the fucking people of King's Landing, but we're going to catch them. Uh, we're going to stay a Valmond, because I don't I don't want to be of the Riverlands. Um, so we just won that battle. Good good job, troops. Uh, we got to defend King's Landing, pretty much. That's our job right now. Uh, I think it might be the speed I'm playing this at. Yeah, it's less hitchy when I slow it down a bit. Um, what can we do? Let's see. Let's move these troops down, at least to here, and then we'll see. Intrigue, intrigue. What can we do? I want to do something. I want to do something dramatic. But I don't usually mar- I don't think I want to marry Sansa yet, because... If I do that... Oh, we can try to take, um, this land. Forgot that this was up for grabs here. Um, the lady almost ran me down as I entered the hall. Tearfully, she told me that my ward Robert insulted her again. But, my dear, you are fat. So that's what we could say to the lady. I don't think that that's a good idea. Tell Robert that honesty has its bounds, or punish him for his insults. Hmm. Hmm. You know, let's have him lose the trait honest. Honest isn't always good in this business. As much as I want him to stop being a little shit, it, it doesn't help when his honesty is getting everyone angry. Um, so we're going to try to take this over. Uh, basically, you kind of just plopped your troops down there. Uh, I didn't check who was in charge, though. Probably should have checked that before, but... Uh, the dragons live once more, and Khaleesi Daenerys Targaryen now rides Dragon Drogon, Drogon into battle. Dragons, what about Narks and White Walkers? Get out. So... We have discovered that in a faraway land, and by far away, I mean over here, somewhere, here, right? Isn't she here? She's not here yet? Well, she'll be around here eventually, whenever she gets her shit together. Well, maybe she's actually moving past that. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? That lady does some crazy shit sometimes in this game. Like, sometimes she just pulls the weirdest shit out of her hat. I don't know. Uh, can we raise anyone else? Not really. My lord, tragic news. His Holiness, the High Septon, has passed away. Uh, basically, the High Septon doesn't matter because he's just replaced by the High Septon. So, these people do get replaced by actual, you know, names that you pick, and so it does matter. But the High Septon does not matter, and uh, the Maester does not matter. Um, there's different... I think the Maester... Does the Maester have different... Yeah, they could be different levels, but you don't really have choices. I write to you from bad news from Heron Hall. My efforts to squeeze some extra taxes out of the population have been met with resistance, and peasants are arming themselves. I fear we might have a revolt on our hands. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Dude, okay. Fucking stop with the taxes. Oh, no. I was sabotaging. I stopped the sabotage. You keep sabotaging. But, uh, stop with the taxes. We don't want to... What is a revolt thing? Oh, God. I clicked the during an autosave. There's no revolt risk. What the fuck are you talking about? Whatever. Maybe there is a risk, but it's just not show. I, I don't know. I've never actually seen the revolt risk um, thing show me anything productive, so... Maybe it just doesn't work very well. Who the hell knows? Uh, we don't want to reveal anyone. We can't really do it. Like, this is the part of the beginning part of this game kind of sucks, because you're kind of, like, doing not a lot. Um, depends on who you play. As Baelish, you're doing not a lot. Um, if I was playing as a Stannis right now, I'd be doing a lot, because we'd be fighting about this. Um, but I'm not Stannis, so it's a little bit slower for me. Um, but I think it's weird is... Stannis... I mean, I guess Stannis will come back. Stannis is still alive on the show, right? I don't even remember. What the fuck do I know? I've never read the books. I have the first book. I've never read it, though. Um, I've meant to, but... 
other things like trying to get the frames to work out in a fucking YouTube video have overtaken my need to read a book of a show that I've already... W I know the book's probably better than the show. Um, I've read most of the Harry Potter books, and I felt like those were way better than the movies for the most part. So I, I feel like that's probably true of this too, but that's what people say. But the show's pretty good. Um, and I wouldn't be playing this if it wasn't for the show. So there is that. Um, we're going to just keep sieging this slowly. Um, we could do this, uh, but we might take serious losses, and I don't feel like taking serious losses because I don't have that many troops to begin with. Let's go back to Dynasty View. I like that view better. It's easier. Sometimes I like um, direct vassals, but we don't really... We don't have anything right now, so <laughs> there's no need for that. Um, my daughter is turning to an arrogant little braggart. Okay, um... <sighs> hmm... Tell her pride... Uh... We're gonna let her be proud. We're gonna let her be proud. She should be proud. She's the heir to the north. It's a very proud land up here in the north. It's very northern. So at this point, um... The Starks have lost the north, basically. But we are the heir to the north, and we will do. Actually, can we do that right now? Let's see. Winterfell. You are in charge, Ramsay. Can I kill you? Ooh, I can. There's a high chance of this working out. Um, so, what we want to do now is we want to... Uh, I can't because I messed up and made him unsabotage, and now he's back sabotaging. Can I appoint someone new without fix this? You. Yeah, I can fix it. Okay. Um, Winterfell. You go there. Uh, let's see. Can I add people to the plot, or uh, you can be added, send... There's no, I don't know why I would manually add people, really, because they can be added automatically, which was what I'll do after this, but we're going to add these people just to make sure that we get the best ones. Okay, so now I'm just going to let it do it itself. Add auto to the plot, and hopefully we'll kill Ramsey. Uh, I don't think that... Does he have an heir? I guess he probably does. Yeah, he does. Lord Paramount Roos of the Leech Lord. Okay, that sounds like a very weird title, but thanks. Um, when my guests arrive, my ward Robert is the first to greet them and shower them with questions. So, he is very much like Sansa right now. Um, the only thing, like, that's why I don't know what having her marry um, the Vale dude does for you, because I, Robert is just the person I'm like teaching, or whatever. Like, I'm not educating, I guess is what they call it in here. I'm not, like, actually related. Because, uh, if, as spoilers, but, you know, I told you not to fucking continue. Uh, Robert is the son of Sansa's aunt, right? And then, like, Peter pushes her through the moon roof, or whatever the fuck. The moon door, whatever the hell the fucking little piece of shit calls it. And, uh, she dies. So, they never end up... I don't think Peter and her ever end up getting married. Or do they? I don't even know. Well, no, because your ward. Who's my other... Oh, Sansa's my other one. That's Peter. Who's your family? Your family's all dead. Fuck you, Peter. So we don't have family. That's what we learned. Can I... Who, what are the remaining troops? I can raise a thousand. Raise them. Bring them over here. Because I don't want these guys... Like, can we take that? I think we can, right? Yeah, we can fight for that. But I want them to all group up there before I do that. Um, but these videos are going to be about 20 minutes long. So I think I have a, about a minute or two left. Uh, my alert light has gone on, though. Warning me that this is about 20 minutes. Although I think I started it a bit before I was actually ready. Um, so there's no character leading this. So we want to have somebody leading at all times. So you're, you're good. You can do that, and, um, let's bring in this guy for this group. But we want someone to lead this group of people, but we need these guys to get there. Did they get there? I think they just got there. So we want to group them together. Oh, they already have people in charge. So, we no longer have the maester. Okay, why? Why did... So we don't have one that we can replace him with. Can we call for one from the Citadel? Is that... Yeah, okay. So, 
we'll call for one of them, and uh, we'll stop here. So we've taken this land, we've sieged this successfully. Uh, now we're going to look to take this. Uh, I think the war, was the war with Stannis over? I think it is. I think we won. This has disappeared. Let's actually hang out one more second. Is it going to say that this is over? It is over, because uh, that's no longer red. Okay, so we got the maester, but what about the ward? Did I just, like, click through it and did not even notice it said it was over? Usually it pops up and says, like, the war between the great powers is over for now. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Let's see. Is that... Oh, autosave. Autosave, please. Stannis is still there. Wait. Click it? No, he's still fighting. Oh, he's attacking... Queen Daenerys, Stormborn... And Wait, what? What has happened? Wait, fucking how the hell did she do that? She's fucking... She did it! She did the thing that I thought... The fucking hell. God damn it, this is so much more difficult than the other playthrough now. Because she's here with dragons. Dragons. Is she married? She's not married yet, right? Can I marry her? This is the shit I pull. Oh, what? She won't marry me. Lord Peter is of too lowly rank for a regular marriage? Prestige effects? Oh, I'm too low of a rank. When I did this, uh, when I was playing as Rob, I married her fucking straight up. Straight the fuck up. Um, okay, so we have problems already. <laughs> um, but we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.